Hey, 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 and welcome back. It's Kelly, the Eclectic Empath, and I am here, and I'm here to share a story with you. Now, I have been in, on hiatus for quite some time now, and there is all sorts of crazy shit going on in the world, but I don't want to talk about that. Really, I don't want to talk about that. This whole situation has made me feel crazy. I don't care where you side on things. Everyone is negative right now. Everyone is angry. Everyone is like high temperature, bad, mad, pissed off, and I can't take it. So we're not going to talk about any of that. We're going to talk, though, about what I did, and that was oversharing on Facebook. Yes, I did. I overshared on Facebook. So I'm going to tell you my story. I'm going to tell you what I did, how I overshared, how it's affecting me now, and... Maybe you can get something out of it. Perhaps you've overshared on social media. I know you have. Don't tell me you haven't because if you're one of those people who has one of those squeaky clean little troll accounts where all you do is you have like nice pictures, you know, screw you, screw you. You know, you you have to be guilty of this just once, just once. Or, you know, like you go a little too far with the politics, you know, or something like that. And you're like, oh shit, I have to work with people tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and especially if you're not like in the popular opinions, oh, me, <laughs> I'm socially awkward as fuck, you know? And so it's like, it clings to me. Anyway, so let's talk about it. So right before I share my story, just give me two seconds here to put a quick shout out in to my amazing friend, Krista. Krista could sense that there was something off about me. I'm telling you, she could sense that there was something off, but off about me. She was calling me just as I was hitting the post button on my overshare, as a matter of fact. It was like she intuitively knew that I was about to have an emotional meltdown and be a little bit stupid online. But I fucking did it anyway. So, uh... Krista jumped to my aid, though, and did everything within her power to make me feel better and has been such an amazing friend and just wow also to the family members hopefully you're not actually watching this um because you know i just you guys make fun of me and sometimes i'm not always like putting my favorite content up or like you know i might have accidentally smoked catnip or something and i talk shit online i really don't want you to see this but if for some reason you are seeing this uh, thank you for your act of kindness. You know who you are. You know what you did. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I am not the type of person to receive. And this is very relevant because when you overshare, <laughs> you run the risk of people following up with you, which they did. I posted that I was unwell. I posted a dramatic photo. I posted that I was going through some medical issues. Fuck! <clears throat> And so now, you know, me being somebody who's already socially awkward, I don't really like to talk about my personal life because I don't want people to feel sorry for me or to get the assumption that I'm like dramatic or something like that, even though I am because I think out loud and I tell people too much shit all the time and I overshare all the time. I try to not overshare on Facebook because it's... You know, several hundred people in my case that are my Facebook friends. And there are a lot of people that I don't really know very well. But, you know, I either forgot that they're on my friends list and they're in big, they're in big, I cannot speak. Okay, they're that word where they're just kind of like off in the shadows and you don't really, you know, think about them. And then there are people that are really super cool and you like to engage with them or you just enjoy reading their posts, you know. But they don't see certain sides of things you know social media is really a bunch of bullshit you know in reality you know it's like you choose what you share you know my selfies look amazing compared to how I look in person and I know that in part because I make all these stupid fucking facial expressions but also like you know i I'm middle aged for god's sakes you know it's like I, I've got this you know, shit going on. So it's, you know, but like, because I choose the photos that go on there. I choose what I share with my audience, even though it's often in poor taste and generally about cats. Um, but you know, it, 
when you're giving out like something very personal, something very emotional, you know, you're talking about the fact that you're not feeling well. I mean, obviously also like there was a hint of depression mixed in there. You know, it was like, it was very raw. It was very personal and people followed up with me and all of a sudden I was like, Oh my God, what, what have I done? <laughs> I'm really having posters regret because it's like, I don't want people to feel sorry for me. But then on the flip side, I'm like super flattered by like the kindness and the compassion. And, you know, some old friends reached out to me and that's, there's no better feeling, you know, there's no better feeling than reconnecting with somebody. And like, you know, life gets busy and, you know, that's great. But on the flip side, you don't want them to think that you're a train wreck, you know, and That I kind of realized as I was processing it, because, you know, one one thing that happened in the interim, and I'm going to proceed to overshare some more, is that um, with this medical condition, and I ranted about it in my post, um, I was getting treatment for it today. And um, I did. I, I had my treatment. And... I feel a lot better. <laughs> I feel like a lot better and I feel like a different person. And so part of it now is that like, you know, it's, it, I feel so alive and like just rejuvenated and I'm all up on Facebook acting like a completely different person. And then it's like, there's everything that goes into that. I'm not going to get into all of it because to me, it means a lot. But like, if you have a chronic illness, especially like in my case, I have an autoimmune disease. And so it's really temperamental in the way that it affects me. And it's, there are days that are good and there are days that are not so good. And it is literally an up and down cycle. And I am still relatively new to how the whole thing works and really tracking it and really understanding. I think I was in denial for a very long time that that was actually affecting me the way that it was. And long story short, too late, unless you've experienced this, it's very hard to explain. And that is part of, you know, the rant as well. And, <clears throat> you know, so it's like, I mean, you're worried about perceptions. You're, I'm worried about how people are going to perceive this really rapid change in my personality, you know, and there are stigmas around things like that. And, you know, it's, but it's, it's really something that's very complicated and difficult to explain. And now I feel like I'm totally in this weird position where, you know, I've explained to a few people like, you know, because I'm getting the, uh, me feeling better messages. And it's like, yes, I, as a matter of fact, I am, you know, which I can tell because I'm posting selfies and I'm smiling and I'm winking. And, you know, it's a, it's a very different look than it was just 24 hours ago. And, you know, so it's like, then you kind of get into it a little bit and you try to explain yourself. I don't know if that's the right way, you know, if that's like the socially acceptable way, but that's what how I've been handling it. Let me know if you're still here, you know, comment. But um, in the process of working this all out, though, I also realized that I shouldn't give a fuck what people are thinking. Because, you know, I mean, really what it comes down to is if they're seeing this drastic change in my personality within a 24-hour span, Am I afraid that they're thinking I'm having mood swings? Do I have some sort of mental health illness? You know, let them perceive that if they want. You know, there are stigmas behind those things, but everyone's got some sort of, you know, issues going on, some sort of imbalances going on. You know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. And if somebody wants to perceive that about you, okay. And if they're the type of person that will perceive that about you and let it affect their opinions of you negatively, I don't need that shit in my life anyway, right? So I guess I really don't need to explain it and you shouldn't have to explain it. If you find yourself in this position, if you are a normal human being who ends up saying a little too fucking much on social media and you overshare something, personally, I think that you should tell yourself it's okay because anybody who's going to judge you based on having a human experience doesn't deserve any space in your mind.
So let them go. You know, fuck them. <laughs> let them say what they want to say. You know, somebody today, side note, today has been a really wild day. It's been a, oh, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I literally, this morning, felt like dog shit. And by late this afternoon, I, I felt amazing. And by tonight, I'm filming this at about 9.30 at night, I feel fantastic. And it has been a whoo type of day. But in the middle of all this, um, I had a complete stranger on a buy sell trade group on Facebook tell me that my eyebrows suck. So my response to that is, you think you're the only person who said that to me? You're not. It's like, anybody got some advice? You know what? If I, if I took a makeup remover pad to these motherfuckers right now, you know what would be there? A couple sparse hairs that are kind of light in color. Fucking good is that? I can't even think. If, if I went into a salon and had my eyebrows tweezed, I would have nothing left. Okay? I don't know what to do. And whether that's sparse, you can't just create them like you okay yeah drag queens do it okay yeah women do it all the time. okay never mind i don't i just don't have any fucking skills you know what i just when i see my face i don't see big ass eyebrows so there's that all right that's enough of that rant so let's wrap this shit up if you overshare and normal people you do it every now and then okay we, we just do these things we get emotional we're we're human we suffer from the human fucking condition forgive yourself and move the fuck on you don't owe anybody any fucking explanations there we go. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you so much to my amazing support system. There have been people reaching out to me and I oh, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. My heart is overfilled. It is good to be back. I swear I have been meaning. I know I say that all the time. At any rate, it is good to see you guys. If you've stayed this long, thank you so much for listening to my rant. I look forward to hearing from you guys and making more videos for you guys in the near future. Blah, call it a threat. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Live for today. Stay well. Love and light.